guys, today we are going to talk about uh, the two most necessary things to have on a pedal board that you didn't know about. So let's go ahead and get into that. This cool cable that you will probably want to know about is this new little jumper cable. I've been using this for years. In fact, I used to make them. I have a bunch of homemade ones at the shop uh, and we've used them for years. And the theory is, you probably think you've seen that before. Let's show you an image right now. What it does is you can take a 9 volt battery and attach it to this end and then without having to open your pedal in any way, shape or form, you can plug it into the back and have instant power to your pedal. Now we use this at the store, I've been using this like I said for about 7-8 years. Um, we use it at the store because when somebody comes in and wants to demo a pedal, we hand them one of these and two guitar cables and let them go find two amps in the shop and then just plug in without having to open that. Now you'd have to say to yourself, yeah, but that seems kind of lazy. Can I just open the box, you know, the pedal board, the pedal? You can, however, keep in mind two things. One, some pedals don't have 9 volt batteries anymore. So you may want to just demo a pedal. But I'm going to show you the most important reason why you want to use it right now. So when you have your pedal board, one of the things you might want to do uh, is try a pedal out, right? You got a new pedal, it came in the mail, you bought it at a local store, you want to see how it fits. Well, a lot of us do this. We pick a pedal and we unplug everything and then insert the pedal like so. Now, there's another way to do that, which is this. Put this one back. Is you get yourself one of these. So you power it in and a little jumper cable. And within seconds, you can try that pedal out and you're getting power right away. Okay? Now, the other reason you may want this, believe it or not, is what if you're at a gig and a pedal goes bad or a situation happens and you just want to get instant power to it and your board's powered and you know you just want to pick one pedal like this. For instance, I could unplug this pedal and this one, right? Plug in two new cables put power to this and just have one box ready to go. Basically, it's a get yourself out of trouble unit. Definitely worth its weight in gold. Uh, and I'll show you where to get them at the end of this video. To show you a typical situation that happens on a pedal board with another little cable you should have. Now, if you're like most of us, you're using some kind of daisy chain power support cable like so. And using like a one spot or a big Joe power supply that within power up to let's say eight pedals in fact there's one that powers 11 which is nice okay and what happens a lot of times is you put a tuner pedal on your board well if you have a tuner pedal let's say by the larger one by tc cord boss you name it you actually get a free power uh extension so let's show you how that works it looks like so let's go ahead and give you a shot of the cable real quick What's great about uh, this little extension cable is that almost all large size, not the nanos, but all the major uh, normal sized uh, tuner pedals will have a uh, an in and out. I'll give you a shot of that real quick. See, all you have to do is pick any pedal, it doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm just going to probably say this one. Take this power that off the board right here insert it into the input, use the extension, and then power that pedal, put this here, or anywhere you want, and now you've extended any power outlet. And this goes also for if you're using a, um, uh, you know, a Voodoo Labs or any kind of eight power system, right? You basically get this daisy chain of pedal, you don't ever have to use one of the main power outputs for your, uh, for your tuner pedal. So it's a cool little trick that all of us uh, kind of pro guys use uh, to, to get an extra power supply or an extra power spot out of our daisy chains or power units. So I thought that'd be cool. Okay, so basically the website that you can use to get these kind of cables is called Godlike. Now it's G-O-D like God and L-Y-K-E, Godlike. They are the company that actually owns and distributes Maxon pedals. You know, you're very famous for the Tube Screamers. You will go to Godlike uh, 
it's godlike distributing but you can just go to godlike.com and then what you do is you go to where it says power all the drop down menu happens and then you will look for power all cables and then there will be all these cool cables one cable I also want to point out is they actually make a really cool cable that is uh, 11 it, it's a instead of an 8 in a row it's an 11 in a row it's a very unique pedal or a cable and if you're concerned about that let me explain how this power supplies work if you're using like a one spot power supply so and the other cables you can get there too so you know they're about four dollars a whack on this website which is retail and they charge you about seven dollars shipping uh, unless I think you hit uh, a certain dollar amount and then they'll give you the free shipping so you gotta buy a couple cables um, the uh, I actually was gonna contact them because I'm a distributor for them and see about doing a deal for you guys on reverb but the truth is everywhere I worked it out I could save you guys like two bucks maybe on, a, on an order of 20 bucks it just wasn't you know cheap enough so I'll just send you direct to the source um, if anyone want to buy direct from me I don't know why you'd want to do that because like I said I can't give you any better deal at all uh, you could uh, you know contact us um, but like I said, uh, I, it won't be a much better deal, so you might as well just get it straight from the from the distributor. Um, anyways, uh, the uh, the eleven. Uh, if you're ever concerned about that, here's all you have to understand: is that if you're using like a one spot or Big Joe power supply, which has seventeen hundred milliamps, uh, adding more pedals won't cause a burden to the pedal. Except for, of course, you have to understand: you can have eleven ready to go. You just can't turn on all eleven. You'll get a slight hum. No harm will be done to the pedals because uh, we're going to do a video about power and how it affects pedals soon too, I promise on that. Anyways, uh, so uh, at the end of the video, as I told you for 2016, we do a couple of interesting things and one of them is, I'm gonna tell you a YouTuber that I think you should check out. This one is Jesse Anderson. Now he's a YouTuber who's new of course. I won't do any YouTubers that are bigger than my channel, only with less views or, really low views. Uh, in other words, someone who's just, I think is interesting or somebody to watch because they got something interesting to say. Jesse Anderson is a gigging musician and a teacher. Instructor, he does gear reviews. His gear reviews are unique because he reviews really, I don't wanna say hodgepodge but those cool Japanese-y weird guitars that you never see, he does reviews of those, which is kinda cool. But the video, I'm actually gonna do something different on this one. I'm going to put his information below to click the link, but instead of clicking it to his channel, I'm actually linking you to a video of his. You'll be able to subscribe or check out the rest of the videos, obviously, once you get to this video. This video is a, an experience he had at a bar, and I love hearing this story. I think it's a great story for anybody who's in a band or planning to ever gig out to hear, uh, and lessons learned were pretty good. I've uh, enjoyed it so much I watched it like twice, so cool video to check out. Um, and like I said, we'll have some new videos coming up this week. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.